So now we're getting down to our, uh, the lessons learned here. And uh, I'll, I'll go in, over these in a little bit more detail, but it is, what we found, you know, over the, over the 34 years, and we were trying to, we were sitting around the room as we were doing the application, we are trying to think, you know, what are the things that we thought were really, really key over 35 years as we evolved and, and went through this whole process? And, um, you know, quality first. I mean, I think it's probably been the mantra from the very beginning. You know, quality was the number one thing that we really focused on. And it really wasn't all that, all, that way always. I remember in the late 70s when I was first there, we were building product, a lot of new people. We didn't really have the tr proper systems in place. We were going to try to do something all new, new world. You know, it was an off-site location, something new for our division. And we we're going to try all these new things. Well, all these new things at once, not really having at the time any kind of lean principles really to guide us or anything else, it really didn't work out that well. And we actually had our uh, DCAA, which is a defense contractor auditing agency, which actually, you know, it's a little unique maybe than if you're not in a DOD business, we have our customer there every day, and they're making sure the product, they have to sign off on their product as on a DD-250 is what they call it, a form in DOD, to sign off on your product. Well, they end up getting down into our operations, they weren't happy with our quality, and end up actually locking it, not letting anything going out the door. That was a very uh, uh, sobering time for all of us, realizing we were building stuff, we weren't gonna be able to ship anything. So we really had to really change the whole focus, and everything then became quality. It became more important than schedule, the schedule wasn't even on the board, it was just, it was all about quality. So probably way off on, on the side where you're not looking at the, the three things, you know, quality, schedule, and cost. You're just focusing on quality, which wasn't really the, the right thing either. But we had to do that to, to get off the dime. But I think that's what really set us, you know, down that path. And then after that, it was, this is how we're going to keep our customer base. This is how we're going to separate ourselves from everyone else that's doing this business. Because what ends up happening? Because our different sister, sister divisions, when they go out and they're looking for manufacturing, they don't automatically come to us. You know, they're going on the outside looking at other DOD manufacturers and saying, you know, maybe we should just get this done on the outside. Like a lot of people, you know, we all know the or outsource anything that's happening all the time. So we're, we're out there competing all the time. We know we're competing. We, we have to figure out what's going to be our discriminator, what's going to really separate us. And so one thing we know we have to do is, you know, quality first. Now, I'm going, to, I'm going to go through a few slides here that kind of, you know, stresses that point here. Um, this, is, uh, this is our, over the last, you know, 10 years here, this is our, our sigma chart as we're, we're going through our, our processes here. Now, this, this sigma chart, I should say, this is not our finished product because obviously, you know, we have a, a warfighter that's going to. It's got to be six sigma, right? It's got to be like an airplane, airplane pilot or the, or the doctor that's going to do surgery on you, right? No defects are acceptable. <laughs> so... This, these are actually, this is our in process. This is as we go through the process, every step of the process, and we have our different inspections as we're recording defects. This is what our sigma rating is. And you can see how we have improved over the years. And it's, and it's really, uh, you know, it's an evolution. It wasn't like one big thing. It's like just staying on track, you know, having that commitment. I, I think we heard someone say this morning that it really has to be a commitment from the CEO all the way down. And we really do have that. So we're, we're fortunate there. And, you know, I can't say people right away bought into everything, like, oh, great, you know, another program. I mean, we hear that a lot where people, they, another program, we go, what are we going to do this week? But as long as it has the same basic principles, it doesn't really matter what the name is. And, that, and I'll have a, I have a chart I'll show you there, too, that shows we've had a lot of different names of what this is called, but we've really stayed on the same path the whole time. I remember, remember when we first started down this path, I was a manufacturing engineer on the, on the circuit card assembly floor. And, um, and I was watching, you know, where, where I was you know, monitoring. I first, I first started this, you know, defects, defects per million opportunities. No one was even tracking at the time. And so I started doing this, and everybody's like, well, you know, what is David Brantley doing down, down there now? And, and, uh, and, we're, and we're going through this, this, and I'm looking at different operations, and I, I keep seeing right before the, right before, if you know anything about circuit card assembly, obviously you have a printer wiring board. You have to put components on the board. You have to take this board, and then, get through some type of soldering process. And the technology has changed over the years. This is back in the play through hold days. Now everything is surface amount of parts. But this is, uh, so we're, we're doing a lot of automatic insertion, but we still had some hand insertion after that, where we had rows of people at the time, and they, we had color-coded sheets, and we tried to keep them making the process better and better and better, you know? And, and how are we gonna do this? And we had this, and we kept on getting defects as, as we were coming off the, the wave, and we couldn't figure out, you know, what's going on. We keep on trying to improve the, 
the process. So we weren't getting there, but we weren't thinking the process in total, right? We were thinking the process, this, this little work construction area, we weren't thinking a little bigger. So I, I started looking around and thinking, you know, I wonder if the, what's going on in inspection? Are they, why aren't they catching this stuff? Well, I started noticing that some of the inspectors, they, they couldn't see the components and they would, these, these boards weren't soldered yet, right? So they would, they would look at the component, like, I can't see the component, so they'd pull the component out of the hole. Okay, I started watching the inspector do it one day, so they could read the part. This is back when you, you actually could you know, read the part out of them. <laughs> these days you can't read anything on them. And they'd read it, and they'd go, well, yep, that is the right part. And they'd stick it back, sometimes in the right hole, sometimes it's oriented, that kind of thing. So we actually found out that, you know, that was my first lesson probably in this, in this whole process, that you, you can't inspect quality into anything. It just, it's just not the way it works. I think we all know that. We, we, we go to all the sessions, but you actually witness it and watch your inspectors introducing defects. So I, so I went ahead and I, I went to our quality assurance people and I said, I, I need to eliminate that inspection operation. They go, oh my God, what do you mean? Our, our, our defects have been getting worse. I said, trust me, just eliminate, eliminate that, okay? So we eliminate that operation and we, like, we went up like a sigma in the, just like a, in, in a week. And I'm thinking, and so it really was a lesson to me that you need to look at the process in total, you know, and, and it's a robustness of that whole process. It's, it's not about how many inspection operations you put in. That does not, does not make a good process. I, I got another great example too. I, I, this, is, this, this is back when I didn't work in the circuit car assembly area. I worked in the more of the chassis area. And we had these um, uh, metallic, ID labels that we had to, you had to put a solvent on them, you stick them onto the aluminum chassis and they're like, forget it, you know what, you, you can't get them off after that. If, if, you, if you put them in the wrong place, you're ripping them off with pliers and you know, it's, really, it's really a pain and, and you could damage the chassis and everything else. So I decided, well, I'll fix that. I'm gonna make that robust process. So I made a tool that located, a pretty simple tool. And so I gave it to the, the assembly people and they, they were locating the label and I said, yep, Perfect, everything works out great. I was just as happy as could be, you know, documented the process, do all the things you're supposed to do. So I'm walking down to lunch one day and I see all these chassis and I see people with solvent and they're taking pliers and they're pulling the labels off. And I'm like, what's going on? I'm panicking, thinking, oh my God, I must have screwed up the tool somehow. Or I made the tool where they could put it, use it backwards or whatever. So I go on over there and I said, what's, what's the deal? I said, well, the inspector said they're all wrong. I said, who? I mean, how could the inspector say it's wrong? So I, I go over to the quality inspector, and maybe this is not saying much for our, our, our QA, and, and our QA department is probably going to hear this speech and probably going to, they're going to lamb blast me. <laughs> right, right. <laughs> but if, if, they, if you're hearing this videotape later, QA at Lockheed Martin, this was thought, you know, 25 years ago, okay? It's all different now. Uh, <laughs> the disclaimer. <laughs> so, uh, I, so I go over there and she, I says, what are you using? And she says, well, you know, my process tells me to use a scale and to measure it. We gotta measure it. And I said, well, show me how you're measuring. So she says, well, it says this, we gotta be 0.12 from the edge. And she was pulling off 12, 30 seconds off the scale, you know? And so she was having everybody pull everything off, everything even though it was right. And so again, you know, another lesson for me that, you know, you gotta really watch that process. Inspection doesn't really make, you know, always a good process. So. <laughs> Two valuable lessons I learned there.